Okay, guys, this is take three. We're going to start over here. Um, every, all, there's 25 lots. I'm going to try to get through within 30 minutes. It may take a second video. Um, so if I get cut off, I'll be posting a second one. Um, all lots are $15, and that includes shipping. The sale will end tomorrow night at 6 p.m. I'll invoice tomorrow night, and payment will be due at 6 p.m. on Wednesday night, so I can pack up and ship on Thursday because I'll have use of a car on Thursday, and I don't know if of if I'll have a car after that for a little bit or a ride. Okay, let's get started so we can get through this. This is number one. It's a pearl beads, uh, gold, gold beads and white beads and rhinestone spacers. Very pretty piece and good condition. Uh, a white bead with these balls on the stringy type balls with one of those full plastic clasps and this graduated beat pearl bead with a toggle clasp and these two pair of earrings okay so those three necklaces and two earrings is number one. Number two is wood. These are wood beads with a Uh, shepherd's hook clasp has that wood pendant with the fur and it's enamel or not enamel but resin it's not fur it's just painted that way but it's all enamel not enamel but resin there's that one and this one with the plastic circle pendant and would be some silver on a silver time chain. Those two is what number two. What number three? A bit more colorful is this bar link and painted beads. Each one of these is unique because they're splattered differently. There's some plastic with a barrel glass. That's one. And there's this two strand plastic bead that has very textured, almost a rope twirl with a very pretty box glass clasp, yeah, box clasp, clasp, and then there's this real bright red, green, and yellow with a lobster clasp and an extender, extender chain, and those three are lot number three. Again, these are all lots are $15, which includes shipping. Lot number four is this watch band type charm bracelet. Plenty of places to add charms. But some of the charms have this, uh, let's see if I find one. 
here it is. Zebra print. So the second piece is this size 7 ring. It does have a mark in it, but the only part of the mark I can read is Thailand. So it's from Thailand. And those two are lot number four. Lot number five is uh, this wired necklace with the ombre beads from golden yellow to uh, brown and then almost black. It has an extended chain on it. And this Three chains with that pearl drop on it, lobster claw clasp, and then this one, which is going to be tangled up, always is, and I can't seem to manage to get it untangled every time. Okay, I'm just going to show you. The bottom of it has this, and I'll get it untangled. The middle strand has this bar with the rhinestones on it, and the top bar is just plain. Those three are lot number five. Lot number six. This is a pretty one. These are silk thread wrap beads. Very pretty with a spring ring. None of the beads have any pull, snags, or missing threads. It's all there. Very pretty and classy. Sorry about the earthquake there. And then there's this three strand silver tone lobster car class does have an extender chain but it has the beads and it has these crackle beads and bezel and different shapes okay those are number six Number seven, these are three long chains with pendants on them, bronze color with that, and that's a, kind of a turquoisey green, not so much Kelly green like it's showing, with chain fashion. This is gold tone with black beads and chain hanging. This is gold tone chain with this pendant, and those, if you look at the cutouts, they're intentional, so it's not tore up or anything. They all look in very good condition and not worn at all. So they are number seven. Number eight. It's metallic. They're plastic beads, but metallic. Not plastic, but blue side. There's no seams. Uh, 
blue metallic This is CB or the lobster claw clasp and it's in the chain, but it has these beads down here to make kind of a small statement. And this long layering piece with lucite beads that are made to look like rock, but they're not, they're lucite. So those three are number eight. Number nine is a bracelet lock. You have this memory wire bracelet brown, gold, and amber color. This memory bracelet that has bronze and gold and black beads it also has a gold mesh section. You have this drawstring bracelet. Very pretty. And this one could conceivably be worn with it with plastic beads and that metal piece and it has a lobster claw clasp. So those four bracelets are lot number nine. Number 10 is another bra uh, bracelet lot. First, there's this black macrame bracelet with this ball on it. And it's a drawstring, full string, whatever you want to call those. Here's another one with black cords or brown. Kind of a brown cord with a leaf. And it has this flower on it that says, Be Happy. And a lobster claw clasp. And this drawstring, which is several chains a pink, uh, blue, and a clear beaded section. Like I said, it's just different chains. And then this one, which is like little dumbbells, silver tone, with thread woven in and out for an ombre effect from dark brown to light tan. It has a drawstring and it goes through a bead. And then there's this stretchy uh, blue side beads. Looks like stone. Four strands going in between them. Plastic. But still has a really good stretch. Has a really good look. And that's lot 10. Lot 11. This Charming Charlie's uh, statement piece. Two chains coming up from those gold tone and smoky with metallic finish over it or coating this black cord with a gold chain spring ring clasp very classy looking and this long gold tone chain with a gold tone and royal blue anchor on it. No scratches on the enamel. 
all looks good. No wear on the chain. That's number 11. Number 12. Number 12 is this pearl bead bracelet with a really pretty box clasp. And this real pr pretty pearl bead necklace with a, another really pretty box clasp. This one's just a little bit of a blush, as you can see. Otherwise, they go well together. I'd wear them together if I was going to wear them. I'm not much into pearls. To make them, yeah, but to wear them, no. That was 12. Now we're to 13. Got to speed up just a wee bit. Thirteen is this pretty shell statement. You see those blue flashes in there. Well, hit with it. This real pretty blue stencil shell. I oh, like a Hawaiian flower print. And the beads are uh, plastic, but I think these cube beads are glass. They look at them. There's even a little bit of wood in there. And then this one has some charms, heart, a ladybug, an angel, butterfly, and that leaf hanging there. And some more beads dangling off. And those three are number 13. Number 14. This is a lot of oh, different things. First off, there is a blingy, blingy headband rhinestones all the way across it none of them missing they are prong set so it's a headband there's two pairs of shoe clips this pair which i've not been able to find they are by the blue This pair, which is pretty common, they're by Bluette, and I know these are vintage because I bought these myself back in the days. This is plastic, but it's an anklet, looks like puka beads almost. We got what could be, but I'm not sure, is a some um, origami IL type shells as uh, charms anyway. There's a shell and anchor sandals, uh, like a starfish and a sea turtle. And also I have these kind of charms. One says love. Uh, there's a happy face there. Um, There's another happy face and several stars and moon, crescent moons, and an I love you here. And this one is all blanks. And this one has several blanks, but it has an elephant, a one that looks like a stone, but it's actually just like resin or something over it. A D, and it looks like 
something to do with soccer. And M, M. And then the rest are blank. All of that is block number 14. Lot number 15. Silver tone chain with a lobster claw clasp. It's one of those flat chains. I put this glass pendant on it. Oh, this goes in that other two. This bar links with these uh, blue sight stone looking beads in between. They're each kind of a little bit different. Gold tone, uh, spring ring clasp, and then there's this seed bead and shell necklace with a shepherd or like a hook and eye uh, clasp and those are number 15 number 16 is two statement necklaces. The first one's on a gold tone chain. It has a lobster claw clasp, a pretty good size extender chain, and it's hot pink. Perfect for this time of year. Put that on with a white shirt or a lime green shirt. You're good to go. And then there's this one, lobster claw clasp, two chains going up each side, or it's one chain loop through each side. There, you can see food and they're transparent. Very pretty. Those two are number 16. Number 17. There's a bracelet lot. First, this black and silver bead with this big blingy bead in there stretching. This brown stretching. This one with the toggle clasp. Uh, blue beads with stone looking beads. I don't know if they are or not. Uh, these white and clear beads with the flower spacer beads. There's a heart. And some of these beads are absolutely beautiful, like that one. And that one. Beautiful lamp work beads there. And then there's another black one with some dangly beads around it. That's number 17. Sorry for the earthquake, it's hot, and my arm keeps sticking to the box. It's the phone sitting on. Number 18. This size seven pink stone. Just a fashion ring, real pretty, and this is between a six and a half and seven, 
blue and it goes up the side. It goes all the way around the shoulder, actually. Very pretty. Those two rings are number 18. Number 19 is another bracelet What? another one of those watch band type guitar bracelets. Lots of ways to add more, so keep these, you might want to change them out. And this gold tone bangle bracelet by Monet, it is stamped, I'm trying to stamp, I don't know if you can read it or not, but Is Monet. Those two bracelets are number 19. Number 20. And after this one, guys, I'll stop it and load it, and then I'll do another one with the last five. Remember, your all the sale ends tomorrow night. And I'll invoice tomorrow night, and you have till Wednesday uh, at 6 to pay so that I can get them, get them ready for shipping on Thursday. There's that one with the three little dangles. There's this one with some beads with a pretty pendant on it and gold tone. There's this one with a gorgeous pendant on it. And then rhinestone on the chain. And there's this one. It's like a spinner. But it doesn't spin real good. But it says, I love you a little. Uh, total, or let's see. I can't even see now. One side is English and one side is French. And when your eyes won't focus a little. Very much. Maybe. Not at all. So. Keep and then it's French on the other side. Those four necklaces are number 19. Oh no, they're number 20. Sorry guys. That's number 20. So, I'll let me get this one loaded and I'll come back with the last five. Bye.